Yeah, thank you, um, Henry. Thank you, Vice. Um, I think you said it all. Um, we have to we have to thank the Almighty God for giving us or for giving me also this opportunity for for giving us a team like this. Um, I think um, yeah, I'm very very proud of the boys. They give it, they give their all. Sometimes it's it's a bad luck. Uh, this is also part of football, the ugly side of football. Sometimes you are lucky, sometimes you're not lucky. But um, they 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 did all they can. And sometimes it's it's, it's not in your hands. Um, I would like to thank the, the president, uh, Mr. Kraku, for giving me this chance, for letting me do my work the way I wanted. I really appreciate this. Um, yeah. This was the best circumstance I would like to work on. It, it appeared. Um, I like to thank the, the whole technical staff for supporting me in the yeah, best way they they could. Um, I think uh, this was a really solid and loyal unit. Everybody worked a lot. Um, like you said, nobody sees this, but there was a lot of work behind the scenes. Um, preparing for this World Cup, also preparing even to qualify. Um, you, I thank the people of Ghana. Um, although I know there's also a lot of people negative and, and all that, and also the press sometimes negative. A lot of support, a lot of support. Um, especially when I started, um, I will never forget this, this first game uh, and Kumasi coming down from the uh, coming with the team back to, to Ghana to play after um, a bad Afcon and then the crowd expecting us like this is massive, incredible. Um, I think the, the players gave it back to, to, to the supporters, we qualified and um, yeah, this is I think what uh, Mr. Weiss said, uh, we should never forget where we came from and the, the, the facts are we didn't qualify in 2018 and the outcome was not good and it was difficult times, really, really difficult times. Um, before even I stepped one feet as a, on the, as a coach on the feet, there was a lot of criticism, um, a lot of doubt, which is maybe normal, but um, the, the FA hold solid to me and um, supported me all the way and showed me um, that um, that what you have, what you want in your life, is on the other side of fear. You know, so you have to go beyond that. And and for this, you need support. And this is what I got. And I really want to thank everybody for this. Then, furthermore, the sports minister was always backing us up. And then also, uh, His Excellency, our President of the Nation, giving the support to the team whenever he could, he could, even to to come here. To, to see the players, to wish them well, and we don't take it for granted. I would also like to use this opportunity again, yesterday I said it, <coughs> to give my thanks to also players who brought us here. We, 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 we always try to have the best possible squad. Some got injured, some couldn't make it into the squad, and because others were also doing good, and um, I would like to, to thank, first of all, um, Vakasso. And I think all of you watched the match in, against uh, South Africa, where he, he himself sacrificed his own health. And I'm very, very, I was very, very sad when he received a lot of insults. He sacrificed his health for the nation. This game, this can happen in football. And afterwards, you will be insulted. The people forgot what happened. We wouldn't be here with those warriors fighting against South Africa, winning 1-0 against Kekos, with Rayabash as coach. People shouldn't forget. We should never forget where we came from. Even you yourself, you should never forget. Even if you live in Europe, you should never forget that you are African. Never forget, never forget. It's a, it's, it's a basic thing. So, Bacasso, then surely you know, guys like Jonathan Menz are always ready to help, um, always supporting the team from behind. And we have uh, matured older players like ACN, like uh, Mutari showing up, supporting the team, giving them very, very good advice. 
giving me good advice. Um, then also um, injured players, or let me not forget Andy Yaudom, for example, also regular helping the team playing good, helping us to qualify for the World Cup. And not last but not least, Felix Afinyajan, very young, talented guy, very good in his work ethic, um, really, really helped us. And for me, what all what happened, these were the, the, the most difficult decisions to make. You know, to leave players out who, has, who have very good character, very good character, and were always ready to give it all for the team. Then also, surely, those who got injured, like Benjamin Tete, Jojo Wallacott, Richard Afori, supporting the team all the way. Baba Ijusu, excellent player, just unlucky. So we should never forget, please, with all the criticism or whatever, or things went wrong maybe in your eyes. For me, I'm very, very proud, especially of these boys who are not there, and then the boys who didn't play this World Cup. We were there supporting the team all the way, even though they didn't play. And for me, it's first is character. Character is always first. And this is where we should stand out. I'm very, very thankful to have worked with such a good and also um, group which is always willing to learn to improve himself. Thank you to the players. Thank you to the staff, thank you to the technical team, thank you to the board members who always supported us. And like I said, this is football, it's the ugly side of football, um, but if it's not where we wanted to, to go, it's definitely not the end. If we are not right now there where we wanted to go, and we wanted more, even though we, we made it and we wanted more, it's not the end. We have a young and talented group and which needs support from every one of us, even in bad times. And I can just underline that the group is very, very good and we need the support of all unions. Thank you.